Hi there, it's Laura Lee Berger with Coldwell Banker Realty and welcome to Friday Fun Facts. Fun fact, you don't have to fix up your house to sell it. Did you know that? A lot of people, so many, ask me, say, hey, can you come over to my house and tell me what I need to do to sell it? Well, there's a wide varying number of things that you can do, but I think the most important economic idea to keep in mind is what's your, what's your economic return on your cost for the investment? For example, right now in our house, we are updating our main bathroom and the owner's suite bathroom. It's going to be costing us some money to do that and we likely will not be getting the exact return on investment out of it whenever the day is that we decide to sell. We're doing it to make the bathrooms in a fashion that we like. We're doing it for ourselves, not necessarily for a resale value. One day when we do sell, uh, the bathrooms will be much more desirable than a bathroom that's 35 years old. So that's a benefit. It's going to make my house much more desirable for potential buyers down the road. Now, I've said it before, if you've watched any of my other videos, the least expensive investment you can make on your home is paint, especially if you can do the painting yourself. yourself. Um, but there is an option you have. There's a program called Real Vitalize where you can have a company pay for up to 3% of the value of your home to do improvements like carpet and paint, maybe staging, things like that. And then that cost is just repaid to the real vitalized company when you go to close. So you don't have to take that money right out of pocket. But let's take the easy route, should we? If you want to do virtually nothing, just clean up the house and get the clutter out and sell it, people will buy it. Why, you ask Laura, why? Because you're gonna sell at a lower price than something that's premium on the market. There are plenty of buyers out there looking for an opportunity to get something that's more affordable for their income. Home values have increased between four and 15% in different parts of the city and in the country. This makes it more difficult for buyers to afford it. Thank goodness the interest rates are low. So if you don't wanna do a lot to your home, let's take a look at it. Let's see what would be a good value for uh, a house that isn't as cosmetically updated, um, maybe has older HVAC carpet that needs to be replaced, we can get it sold, I promise. So there you go. Friday Fun Facts with Laura Lee Berger from Coldwell Banker Realty. If you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks.